Okay, well, this uh, video is really for Granddad, but it's for anybody else that's working on electric motors or um, things that move with uh, energy from whatever source you've got the energy coming in from. But, uh, you know, I've been studying this motor thing now for years and years and years, and it, it gets more and more fascinating the more I watch it. And this is really a lead-in to another thing I'm going to be doing and it has to do with um, what does it take to move something? You know, um, back in physics class, of course, they're called force vectors. When you get something and you move it a distance, it's a force vector. Well, this is a real interesting little experiment I did here in dealing with force vectors. And what does it take to move something? And this thing here is this... Um, coil between uh, two rotating disks of magnets. Um, it's a reed switch deal. But what's weird here is this is just half a volt, a solar panel. That's all it is. It's got the amperage, though, that you need to push that wheel around with just uh, pointing it out the window using uh, solar energy here. This one here the experiment here was it's a solar rocker mechanism and um, the way the uh, mechanism works is um, it puts out a pulse a little full four vector pulse that's stored up in a capacitor and once the magnet gets to moving back and forth in front of the coil it starts triggering the circuit with the motion of the magnet going across the coil now what's going on here is I've got a way to move the momentum like a metronome up and down to get that into cadence like a resonance so I can use the force vectors to the maximum amount and I'm going to be doing um, an experiment using um, a stovetop fan that uh, granddad got at a thrift store dollar store type of thing that uh, I went ahead and ordered one it's using a felt a module and I've done a lot of uh, experiments with Felte, but um, he got the thing to work on solar energy by sticking it in a little uh, bucket of cold water and then pointing it at the sun, let the sun hit the top part, and he got it to rotate. So when I get mine, I'm going to be looking at uh, the Felte module um, project again, and this ties into this. The Felte modules don't put out a lot of voltage, but they put out the amperage. And this is what's going on here, is I've got enough amperage, even though it's only half a volt, to make this work just using a reed switch. Now, I wouldn't be able to run a, a, a transistor circuit, I don't think, because I'm not even getting half a volt out of that because of indirect sunlight. But uh, there's ways around things to get something to move and so much of what we're working with now on the on the planet is how do we get something to move do we use petroleum products do we use electricity do we use uh, hydrogen you know how are we going to move our cars or how are we going to make the refrigerator work or the air conditioner or whatever we need to move and this is what this study is all about are the force vectors and what is it going to take and how are you going to do it with a different force vector? So that's kind of the lead into this uh, project uh, once I get my little um, stovetop fan that works off of a wood stove, basically. And uh, I'll give the link to Granddad's uh, experiments with his little uh, felt-a-module fan. But that's what I'm, I'm heading toward right here. Thanks for watching.